What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another installment of How to Get Diamond in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today we're going to be talking about assault rifles, SMGs, and we're also going to throw in launchers. Now, ARs and SMGs are going to do the same exact way, so I figured I'd put them together. And launchers, there's not all that much to talk about, so I figured I'd put them in with these. So let's just go ahead and get the launchers out of the way real quick. There's two launchers, is the XM53 and the Black Cell. Both are the exact same, challenges the same, all that. There's not much I can tell you. You need to destroy 100 score streaks to get to the specialized challenge. To destroy the 100 score streaks is going to happen very quickly. Just carry one around while you're doing the other challenges. You're going to see a million UAVs. Just go ahead and blast them out of the sky really quick and you'll get those 100 kills in no time. 100 destroyed score streaks in no time. The specialized challenges are also fairly easy. They will just come with time. The only one that gave me trouble is destroy five talons or Cerberuses or Cerberi, Cerberuses, multiple Cerberuses, I don't know. Uh, destroy five of those. Those are a little bit tricky, but there's not any tips I can give you. Just keep on trying. All right, so on to the most popular class weapons. We have the ARs, the assault rifles, and the SMGs. Uh, these are very, very easy compared to the sniper and the knife and pistols. There's not much you have to do. Now, I just got gold and diamond on my ARs just because when the game first came out I played it much slower than I do now you know learning the maps all that stuff so I used ARs all the time and they just kind of happen now if I was specifically trying to get diamond for ARs I would definitely suggest hardcore game modes now I know I say that over and over again in this series but it really is an important thing it makes it so much easier and you'll get the challenges done much quicker now I usually like to tell you what game style fits best with this class of weapon. The ARs, there's so many of them and they're so diverse uh, that it, you can't really say one universal play style is best. You can really use almost all the ARs as you would any other weapon, any SMG or anything. Uh, you're going to move a little bit slower, but um, if, if you're a head glitch player, if you like moving from head glitch to head glitch, ARs are going to be awesome. But if you like to run and gun like myself and a lot of people, you will find yourself very successful with ARs. Now for class setup tips, there's so many I kind of have to break them down, but for fully automatic weapons, let's say fully automatic assault rifles, the laser sight is going to be another key in hardcore game modes. Laser sight on the ICR, on the HVK, all of them, all the fully automatics are going to be really helpful. That laser sight is going to save you a lot, and you literally can get headshots hip firing in hardcore. It's not that difficult to do. So if any of you guys have tried hardcore and have been raging because you just don't have time to aim down sight, slap on a laser sight, hip fire to start with, then aim down sight. I swear it's going to help you a lot. Now when it comes to other attachments other than the laser sight on the fully automatic weapons, it's kind of personal pre preference and they all differ. Uh, but stock is something that you might want to consider because you are playing in hardcore and one bullet's going to kill you. So you want to be as hard to hit as possible and stock's going to help you uh, strafe a little bit quicker. One thing to keep in mind when you're putting on attachments is leave room for an optic because we're in hardcore to get headshots. We want to get those hundred headshots out of the way so we can move on to the other challenges and an optic's going to allow you to do that much quicker. Now I prefer the elo sight but whatever one you're more comfortable with I highly suggest using an optic to get those headshots quickly. Last thing before I move on, quick draw is key in hardcore. You're going to be hip firing, but also you need to aim down sight quickly. Quick draw is going to help you out a ton. Now I'm going to move on to the burst weapons like the M887, the XR2, and obviously the semi auto Shiva. And I'd actually throw the Man of War in here as well because it has a very slow fire rate. You're going to want to play these slightly different. You don't want to run and gun as much with these. You can. But if you really want to get the best KD possible with the burst weapons and the, the Shiva and things like that, do the head glitch thing. If you watch my light machine gun tips and tricks, how to get diamond, play it similar to that. A little bit slower, at a distance, and you're going to absolutely destroy people with these weapons. Alright, so on to SMGs. Now you can literally copy and paste pretty much everything I said about ARs to SMGs. You're going to want to be in hardcore game modes. You're going to want to use quick draw, laser sight. Those are two very important things when you're running SMGs in hardcore. You really shouldn't have too much trouble with the SMGs. In hardcore, SMGs are king in my opinion. If you watch my best hardcore class setup, I use the Pharaoh. I think it's the best gun in hardcore. You throw laser sight, rapid fire, quick draw on there, and you just absolutely shred. You can cross map people. It's always a one shot kill, one hit kill because it's a burst weapon. And you're just going to clean up in hardcore. So don't worry too much about these challenges. They won't be difficult to complete. 
One thing I did want to mention when you're going for your long shots, you can put it on the Varric site and that'll make the long shots not as long for you, right? It's a closer distance. Now, I didn't come up with this. I think I saw it on a Drifter video. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, but hopefully I'm right. I think it was on a Drifter video. If you put on the Varric zoom site and you have it at the lowest zoom, the, the long shots are not as far. The distance isn't as far. So that's going to come in handy when you're doing your long shots, but you don't really need it in hardcore because you can shoot cross map and kill someone with a SMG. Well that's going to about do it for me guys. Don't forget I'm going to put this in a playlist and I've done all the other classes so far except for pistols. I will go over pistols here in a couple days. And as always if you have any questions, any class setup tips, any problems that you're encountering with specific challenges, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to look at them and answer them if I can. Well as always I hope you have a fantastic day. Try to stay warm out there and I'll see you later.